Good afternoon. You know, the story of Exodus is such a powerful, powerful story. Uh, it's because you and I find ourselves oftentimes in situations where the only way we are going to get out of it, the only way good will come of it is if God comes and rescues us out of that situation. You know, the children of Israel, when they first went into the land of Egypt, they went in under a hand of favor. Uh, they were given the best of the land in Goshen. And some 400 years later, they found themselves enslaved, uh, doing Pharaoh's work uh, un under unbelievable uh, circumstances and hardships and just under brutal conditions. I don't know how they got there, but they were there. And there's no way that they were going to get out of it unless God stepped in. And you know, that is the story of humanity. That is the story of mankind. You and I, although we were uh, created in God's image and, and given dominion over this, this world, uh, fell, fell hard and fell far from grace and have found ourselves in a state of bondage ever since. And it is only God, it is only Christ through his death on the cross that you and I have any hope of freedom, any hope of redemption. In fact, that is the only hope that you and I have is through the cross, through Calvary. And that's why the story of Exodus is so powerful because it is a, it is a foreshadowing of the real, uh, the, the universal work, the, the greater work that God was about to do for mankind by sending his only son to die for our sins. I pray that you think about these things today and that you have a good weekend. God bless.